Hello moneymakers. Today we're going to talk about compounding interest. So we're going to see how far your dollar can really go. I know most of you like to order your coffee every day. Let's just say it's about five bucks every day and you go do it Monday through Friday. That's 25 bucks a week, about a hundred bucks a month. Let's just say you're investing 125 into a compounding interest account instead. Let's say this account is at 6% and it compounds every month. And you're going to do this for five years. So the first step to do this, you have to find the effective annual rate. So to do this, you're going to take your 1 plus your 6% interest divided by the amount of times, 12 times a, uh, a year, raised to the power of 12 divided by 12, which is the times you're contributing 12 times a year divided by the time it compounds 12 times a year. And now that we have our effective annual rate, next is to tie it into the rest of the formula and find out how much you'll be making. So next we're going to do is add 1 to your effective annual rate and raise it to the power of the number of cycles you're going to compound, which is 60. Next, you will subtract 1 from that number and divide it by your effective annual rate, which you'll get right now. Just give it a second. There it is. And then multiply it by the, num the amount of money you're contributing every month, 125. And that's how much you make. Sorry for all the numbers and going over all that math with you. I just wanted to do it for you and explain it to you as clearly as I could. Uh, but essentially what all I did was uh, take the scenario of taking your five bucks a day, Monday through Friday, for your coffee and putting it aside and putting that amount every month into a compounding account that compounds at 6% every month for five years. If you do that, you would get a grand total of $9,184.60. So almost 10 grand by not drinking coffee for five years. I think it's a pretty even trade. This is how financial planners calculate and figure out how much money you have to save a month for your kid's tuition, for retirement, uh, how much money you'll be paying a month for a mortgage. This is the same formula, just diversified different ways. So if you guys have any of these kinds of questions, you can come to me and ask me. I'll be happy to help. Uh, if you guys want to learn the formula, I could go over that in another video. Uh, in the meantime, just keep on watching and like and follow for more. Thank you guys.